it's another goodbye. A unique, mighty Porsche beating manual Jaguar XKR is leaving us for pastures new. A reminder then of the car's history. Jaguar built a concept, but they never actually built a manual XKR, and we thought, well, they, they should have done. So we did. Not a small project. The base car was delivered new to America, a member of the US military, who was then transferred to Japan. And the US military operate a system whereby you get free transfer of your car to your new post, which I think is good and shows their priorities as a military force. Yeah, I'll go, but I got to take my truck. What that means is this is effectively a Japanese car, so no rust. Normally by now, one of these is scabbier than a scrapyard dog. This is clean and sharp. Then the work started. To turn an automatic XKR into a manual, first you need a manual gearbox, ZF six-speed. Fitting that, oh, you know, tiny job. Matter of moments. Uh, five, ten minutes, something like that. Didn't stop there. More power came courtesy of a smaller pulley on the supercharger, up from 370 to 420 brake horsepower. More power means, in an old Jag, wobblier. One of these by now, normally baggier than your grandma's sofa. So new coilovers tautened everything up. And the result has completely transformed the car. It's, it's a hot rod. It's a muscle car. I'm more conscious of attacking corners in it. I'm more conscious of exploiting the qualities of that platform underneath. It does encourage you to exploit what is really a fine handling car that was lost because of the slush box. It's a totally different beast and they should have made it. We were right. given these to do, these goodbye pieces. It's like, Rich, here's this magnificent, unique thing we've built. We're selling it, say goodbye. It's a bit cruel. I love cars. It's like being a vet. You love animals, but you only ever really get to meet the ones you've got to whack. Thing is, they've been cooped up in my barn for way too long. It seemed only right to release it into the wild after its long sojourn in a cage. We've been keeping our Jag in an area of Richard's barn ever since its drag race against Alex, and it's been kept happy and charged up thanks to the sponsor of today's video, SeaTech. Using their CS1 charger, it could not be much easier to keep an older car's battery healthy and charged for when you want to take it out for a blast. It is the easiest charger I've ever used as the clamps are polarity free, which means you don't even need to worry about which one goes where and risk any nasty sparks. The Apto technology automatically recognizes what type of battery your car has and then automatically delivers a customized charging program telling you exactly how long it's going to take to fully charge the battery without having to click any buttons or select any modes. If you want to, you can hop into the SeaTech app and select Recond to restore and recondition a lead acid battery and wake up to revive a seemingly dead lithium or lead acid battery. SeaTech also produces professional workshop equipment like this thing here, the Pro 120, which would be ideal for a workshop like the smallest cog, keeping precise control over a car's battery charge while doing repair work. There's nothing worse than working on a car and then realizing at the end of it that you've ran the battery into the ground. Click the link in the description below to learn more about SeaTech's products and thanks to them for sponsoring today's video. Fingers crossed, Richard loves the Jag. 
So like the Drive Tribe V10 M5, it's time now for the Jag to find a new home. It's interesting to think though, it's already circumnavigated the globe. Born in Coventry, moved to America, Florida, then Tokyo, then Somerset, and then it's off into the sunset once again. It's traveled. It hasn't been all fun and games. It lost the Jag off in the courtyard of the smallest cog in front of a, an audience of assembled drive drivers, and it lost to my supercharged Jaguar XJR. Your number of votes given, 18. My number of votes given, come on. 22. Yes! 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 Team XJR takes an A! It doesn't matter, they're all fantastic cars, but mine's the best. <laughs> I'll remember that day forever, mostly for Mike's face. <laughs> but it did then win the manual Jag drag race against Auto Alex. Three, two, one, go. Good start. Woo! Wild, 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 wild. Oh, hit the limiter. Got a much better start. Come on, Jimmy Jag! But here I come. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Hit the limiter again! One nil! It is actually for sale right now, if you're interested. Uh, link in description below. That. I mean, I'm, I'm not a salesman, but I am saying it's, it's quite fun. Now it's time for the big farewell. Once again, I must don the black cap, reach for my medical bag, pull out the syringe, and whisper the words, one small prick and you'll be gone. Wait, I'm not saying I'm the small prick. 